Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's me, the Incredible Greek. Sorry I've been gone for a few days. Duty calls, I've got to pay the bills. So like I said before, it's gonna there might be a few days here and there where I might not upload because I'm just simply too busy working, coming home, going to bed, getting up, going straight to work again. So there's just nothing I can do about that. But I'm here now, and I'm gonna make some videos today, and I'm starting off with the uh, first official trailer of Spider-Man Homecoming. And uh, I've been so unlucky, okay? I've been out of work for five months, okay? During those five months, not a lot of big trailers have dropped, not a lot of great stuff has come out for me to check out. And as soon as I go back to work, boom, loads and loads and loads of great trailers have dropped. And I'm like, I can't believe this is happening as soon as I go back to work. So, <laughs> anyway, enough of me rambling about my personal life. Let's get to the thing you guys come here to see. Spider-Man Homecoming Trailer Reaction. So, let's get on with the reaction. One, two, three, go. This is my chance to prove myself. Web, web wings. Yeah. Unusual tools. What's up, guys? Wait a minute. <laughs> you guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that was awesome. Took the buzz right in my mouth. That was awesome. The list the top. No, you've seen that before. Never with that skirt. You should probably stop staring before it gets creepy, though. Hmm. Too late. You guys are losers. So, to become an Avenger, are there like trials? Ah, time to stop. Just don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there, and that's where you operate. Oh, alright. <laughs> that's not a hug, I'm just grabbing the door for you. Alright, <laughs> good luck out there. I'm feeling rough, I'm feeling rough. Listen, I know school sucks. Peter, you still with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you want to save the world, but you're not ready yet. Oh, you're the Spider-Man. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. This is just a costume. This is from the ceiling. I try to deny it, man. And stay out of trouble. Oh, Vulture! Oh, he looks Forget awesome as well. Monster guy. There are people who handle this sort of thing. I'm sick of him treating me like a kid all the time. But you are a kid. This is my chance to prove myself. Peter, what is going on with you? I'm really sorry. I'm so busy. I'm slammed. Oh, wow. Because I will kill you. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot he's playing him. He finally became Birdman. <laughs> I know he's false, Joe. Yeah. Oh, I missed that last bit. Sorry, let me just see that last bit again. Beautiful. One second, I want to see that last bit. Oh my god. Iron Man with it as well. Iron Man's there as well. Unbelievable. Sorry about that. I was just saying that. Um, you know that film that Michael Keaton was in, uh, Birdman, you know, and he finally gets to play a Birdman in this, <laughs> except for he's not a hero, he's a villain, the Vulture. No, uh, I just want to first start, since I'm talking about the Vulture right now, Vulture looks really good, I really like his design, I like, I love Michael Keaton, he's a great actor, he's been in the acting career, he's been doing uh, acting for a long time, and uh, it's, it's nice to see like old superstars get to still participate in these big comic uh, book movies. Um, I like the fact that Spider-Man is really, really young, he literally, he literally, he literally is a kid. Uh, the you know the actor is literally a kid. He's he's a very lucky young. He's a very lucky young man to be playing Spider-Man, and I wish him the best of luck in future roles as well. Uh, but this is but it works well with the movie as well because now he sort of gets to grow naturally in, uh, in as the movies go on. You know, of course, there's going to be more Spider-Man movies. Um, now that this Spider-Man 
is actually involved, it's connected, he's connected with the rest of the uh, Marvel Universe, as you can see, uh, you know, with Tony Stark and what he did in, uh, um, in Captain America, uh, Civil War. Um, so that's no, really good. Um, with, oh, oh, his best friend finds out that he's Spider-Man, so I wonder if that's going to play some sort of role. I wonder if his friend is going to play some sort of crucial, crucial role, uh, you know, in the movie. Um, and so far, it's looking really good. Um, yeah, the criminals have got these really high-tech, like weapons and tools and stuff like that. I wonder if Vulture has been supplying those uh, weapons to the to the to them or something like that, or maybe that that's that's his. Uh, like henchmen, he's given these like powerful like weapons to the uh, to the henchmen. Um, but no, it's looking real good. It's not giving away too much of what the story is about because we don't. Because at this point, we don't know what Vulture's goal is in this movie yet. No, we don't know what it is. I don't know what he's got planned uh, for Spider-Man. Um, is are there any other villains that are going to pop up, or is it, or you know, is, is there any any characters in this movie that we've not seen yet, or heard about maybe, that can set up for another villain uh, in the next movie? Um, we haven't seen anything like that yet, so it'd be really interesting. So, I, if I was to ask, if somebody asked me. What villain should be in the next Spider-Man movie? Yeah, the next Spider-Man movie. Um, it's really hard to decide. I mean, I'm excited about this movie because Vulture is completely, you know, he's a new villain to, you know, to the Marvel Universe. And yeah, I can't wait to see what else he's got. I, his entire design, I, I really like his design. So I wonder what other villains they're going to chuck in, uh, you know, to fight Spider-Man. I'd love to see Doctor Octavius come back. Uh, I want to see, I want to see, I'll right, tell you what I want, alright, I want Venom to be like the main villain for a Spider-Man movie, okay, I want the symbiote story to be like a full cinematic story of the symbiote uh, storyline, I would love to see, I know we got a little bit of, I know we got a bit of that in Spider-Man 3 with Tobey Maguire, but in the end we only got like, Five, ten minutes of, of Venom, and uh, they didn't really choose the right actor for that, in my personal opinion. Um, because, that, you know, Venom, he's a big, big villain, and he is one of the most dangerous villains to ever go up against Spider Man. And um, I just think he would be such a. a he, sh he should be a main villain for a movie. Not a side villain that they're just chucking at the end like they did in Spider-Man 3. So, but I can't wait to see what this movie's going to dish out to us. I can't wait for the, for the future movies. Will Spider-Man be involved in more Avenger movies? I hope so. I'm pretty sure they will do that in the not too distant future. But so far, loving this trailer. Can't wait for this movie. It just sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. That we have to wait, what, seven months? Something like that, just over half a year for the movie to come out. And, oh. So anyway guys, thanks very much for checking out this movie trailer with me. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And uh, let, me, let me know in the comments section down below what other Spider-Man villains should be in the next Spider-Man uh, movie and future Spider-Man movies, all right? Um, I'd love to hear your opinions of that. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later on the next video and the Greek is out. Bye.